My son and I were having a conversation the other day. He's got a 10-year-old and a 16-year-old. Talked about movies. Well, they went to see Mario Brothers. Great movie, PG. They had a great time. The 10-year-old said, wait a minute, I want to go see Dungeons and Dragons. Can't go see it. It's PG-13. He has a dilemma. So, a 10-year-old can't go see that movie. But yet, it got me to thinking about our society. Our society accepts having movies rated and even video games rated. This got me to thinking about our, how our society accepts these ratings. As society, parents, we feel safe knowing that the measured rating system is in place is acceptable in understanding the overall mental and visual level of maturity needed to enjoy and understand the material that is being displayed with specific movie or video game. As a matter of fact, it is so important that there's an entertainment software rating board. Hear this. This is their mission statement. Our mission is to help parents make an informed decision about video games and apps their children play. Our Advertising Review Council actively enforces industry-adopted advertising guidelines and privacy certificates. Wow, that's a powerful mission statement. So how do they do this? How do they have this rating system? Well, first of all, that rating system is published on the material that's being purchased, either on the outside cover, the CD, and or when the movie starts and or the game starts. And their rating system is fairly simple. E for everyone, E10, generally suitable for 10 and above. Teen, generally suitable for 13 and above. M17, oh, generally suitable. There's an interesting common theme here. Generally suitable. This is a guideline. So what would happen if a Wake, employee, a Wake County employee uh, of school system brought in a game of M17 to the schoolroom or an R-rated movie. How would that go over? But yet we have these books in our schools and we don't have a problem. And the school board is well aware of it. that's a problem.